Now we're going to design an electronic kick sound. We are starting from the default preset. I'll transpose Zyne an octave. Move the material towards nylon to get a cleaner sound. Doesn't have to be right on the corner. Bring down the resolution so not that many upper harmonics in the sound. Now check out what happens when I bring up this tension mod. It sounds like a pitch envelope, which works perfect for this kick sound. On a subtractive synth engine, you will have to set this up by assigning a free envelope to modulate the pitch. But here, just with one slider, we get that effect. Higher strength on the object will create an exaggerated pitch modulation. So depending on what you're looking for, you can set this up. I'll set the object closer to the edge of the string, so it doesn't sound that resonant anymore. Okay, let's now add object 2. I'll set it to strike and push up the strength. I'll position it at around the one third mark. Pick up positioning. I think one pickup under each object sounds good. That brings up the click in that kick sound. Now for the third object, I'll set it to boundary. This will help tame the kick drum a bit, reduce that excessive resonance and decay as well. Yeah, that's nice. I think I'll drop the tension mod just a tad. Okay, let's distort this kick. Set the wave shaper to screen. Push up input as well as variation, but not too much. Unless you're going for that heavily distorted kick sound. I'll bring down the sustain on the ADSR so that tail is further reduced. I like a nice tight kick drum. Cool, now the body EQ. Push up the lows a tad. I think I'm going to cut down some of the low mids. That's good. And bump up the highs just a bit. Sounding pretty nice. And the convenient thing is that you can change the root note of the kick drum via your keyboard. This could be helpful to maybe match the key of the song that you're using the kick drum in. Now if you want less of that techno sound, Pure Nylon will have a more subdued pitch envelope, so you can push the material more towards that. Play around with the material. Anything around the nylon area works quite well. You can also change the resolution to change the timbre a bit. Don't be scared to go back and fine tune the settings that you've already decided upon. Sometimes I find it's easier to tweak the sound once all the wave shaping and body EQ is done, especially because it will change the sound drastically or more importantly, you will hear it much easily. One last thing that can be done is to set the voicing to mono, so only one note plays at a time. Nice. Let's save this. Okay, next we'll create what I call a sign blip.